If you're like me and keep your two strand twist in more than two weeks at a time and possibly work out, you know that taking your two strands down can be quite a task, whether or not you have extensions. I'm going to show you a way that cuts down on that time, and yet it doesn't take much time at all. It also makes sure that you don't pull out hair and limits the amount of knots that you'll experience. I've used this method time and time again. My edges are preserved and so are the ends of my hair. So watch. So what I'll do is I'll start off with taking all of my hair down. I tend to wear my uh, twist and updo protective style so I usually have to take them down. I'm going to get a duckbill clip. Also my metal duckbill clips. Use an oil of your choice and also a butter of your choice. You'll see what I'm going to use them for. Put your hair in four large sections leaving out a small section to begin taking down. I don't recommend taking your twist down when all of your hair is down. Hair can get caught in each twist, causing more breakage. So, after I've completed that step, I take some butter and I put it on my hair from root to tip, working it down through the ends. That's simple, right? And right after, I go in with some oil. Try extra virgin olive oil. That works pretty well in this case. You just want to make sure that the hair is completely coated and not dry, as sometimes it is when you're pulling it down out of protective styles. You want to make sure you have as much elasticity in the hair as possible during this process. What, is I do, what I do is I start at the end of the hair shaft after pinning up the excess hair. So I start at the end of the hair shaft or the middle is fine as well if your hair is not too tangled. And I pull the twist apart, okay? I don't mangle the hair together, I simply pull the twist apart. My twists have a braided base, so this is where my rat tail comb comes into play. You're going to gently go into each loop, and when I say loop, each braided piece of the hair, and use the comb to pull it apart. You can also use the ends of the comb, but use your fingers as well to work out any tangles or kinks. It's okay to use both as a tool. I also use this time to kind of pull out any excess hair. Excess hair is what causes knotting. When our hair knots around itself, it causes the hair to tear. You don't want that to happen. Now take your duck bill clip and clip up the excess hair or the hair that's been taken down. I'm gonna briefly repeat that step just so I can make sure you saw that. Again, just pulling it apart. And again, returning to that braided base, you can use your fingers for the entire process, or again, you could use that rat tail comb. My hair came down nicely without the rat tail comb. But, like I said, you can use the end if you'd like. Pull out any excess hair. That also cuts down on shedding when you go to wash your hair. So remember that. So, now that I've completed taking down most of my hair, I wanted to show you a part of my hair that's not so strong. The edges of our hair seem to be the weakest, and we tend to be impatient with that hair as it's finer and it often gets tangled. Let me show you a quick way to take down those twists on the edges without losing your hair and losing the edges of your hair or causing them to thin. This is more simple than it sounds. Again, I'm pulling the butter down from root to tip. Same process. 
I've also added a little oil. So my hair has enough oil and butter in it to go through this process. I'm pulling the hair apart again from the ends or from the middle of the twist. I have a braided base here as well, so I'm just working through it with my fingers. I want to lose as little hair as possible around those edges. Notice how I take my fingers and comb through the hair. Oftentimes, when you have in extensions or your own hair, your hair at the top tends to get a little knotty and it also gathers lint balls. You want to comb that out with your fingers. That keeps the hair from pulling out. And remember, once it gets wet, it can cause more tangles than needed. I'm again repeating that step. Taking my hair down from root to tip. Make sure that you have not missed anything. One mistake I've made is washing my hair and finding that there's still braids and twists left in there. That causes even more single strand knots. So be patient with this hair on the sides. Though it seems that I'm moving quickly, I've learned how my hair behaves. You need to learn how your hair behaves when you're taking down smaller twists and protective styles. Now, I'm gonna show you how to take down some from the middle. This is where I experience, experience the most of my tangles. Since my hair is in a protective style and usually pinned up, somehow the middle, which is the thickest, tends to tangle around itself, if you will. All I'm doing is using that same method after butter and uh, oil have been applied. I'm simply taking it down with my fingers. Watch what I do as I get to the base. At the base, I'm kind of pulling my hair apart. It may appear that I'm pulling hard, but I'm not. I'm pulling soft. I'm breaking that hair apart up the top of my hair. And this works well, especially for hair that has been in extensions for an extended period of time. It helps you remove buildup with your fingers. I'm gonna show you another one just to make sure you've gotten the process. Okay, make sure that you work it down with your fingers. Don't become impatient. You see how easily that came down? And I'm not losing much hair at all. My hair is coming apart and I'm getting all the buildup from the scalp removed and removing any tangles with my fingers. That's all the hair I lost from that section. Now that my hair is completely taken down, I'm gonna go ahead and wash. But for those of you who might not have the time to wash right after you remove your protective style, at this point, since you finger detangled, it's okay to go ahead and put it in a ponytail or some way to sustain it until you're able to wash. Hopefully that's within a, a few hours or by the next day but you can easily put it in a ponytail or in a low bun. It's up to you. I've had to do this sometimes when I've had to make a run after taking my protective style down. But you can see, I haven't suffered much buildup and it doesn't look dirty or tangled. It's just fine with me. My twist had been in for nearly a month, so that shows you that this method works pretty well. Hope you liked, guys. Beautiful brown baby doll. Peace. Well, I'm that N to the I to the N to the A, better known as B, 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 D. A motivating, captivating personality with weight loss, hair care, yeah, you know with me. Much more than a diva, hard hitter, never quitter, and a winner, so you know that I will. Seek to educate, regulate, never violate, never teach and hate, but I will participate at a high rate in living my life much like it is golden. Let's embrace with the knowledge. Learn more information about me and to keep up with my current events, check out my personal pages. The links are found below in the info box. I let my spirit flow freely to my high calling. On the real, I appreciate your love. I'm ripping God above, and with this, I'm never falling. On a quest for amazing. For greatness anticipating, amazed that so long you viewed, I'm 
so glad to 